Good morning, everyone. Uh, can those of you down the uh, the back hear me? Um, I'll, uh, I'll get to, I'll get to the, uh, the audio guys and to turn the microphone back on. Um, those of you um, who don't know me, my name is Justin Clark. I'm uh, one of the chapter leaders of the London OWASP chapter. Um, so welcome to our event for the uh, OWASP EU Tour 2013. Um, exciting. It's good to see such a good turnout that we have. Um, I think we have a little over 50 folks um, so far, which is uh, not at all bad for this kind of event. Um, can I get a show of hands? How many of you have, have come to uh, an OWASP London event before? It's probably about a third of you. How many of you, this is the first OWASP thing you've ever attended? Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Um, those of you who just said that, um, how did you guys hear about it? Did you hear, uh, hear about it um, the mailing list? Or did some, one of your colleagues tell you or something like that? I got off the mailing list. got off the mailing list? Okay. Um, just to let you know, like OWASP events, generally speaking, we are we are old school. So so like actually signing up to an email list and then having notifications turn up in your email is unfortunately the most old school kind of uh, most reliable way of actually hearing about these things. If you guys don't know how to get uh, how to get on the mailing list, um, come and have a chat to me. Uh, it's very easy. I can even sign you up if you want to give me your email address. Um, <laughs> I will I will actually send out a reminder after this. Um, just an email to everybody who registered through Eventbrite, um, just pointing you towards the link to be able to join um, our mailing list, because that is the most reliable way of um, hearing about um, events that go on. We do have uh, chapter meetings um, usually regularly. Uh, for those of you who are London OWASP regulars, um, you will know that this is unfortunately the first thing we've actually done this year. Um, but that's not going to be uh, not going to be the case for the rest of the year. So we, we usually do aim to have uh, a chapter meeting, usually Thursday evenings, uh, somewhere centre in the city, uh, every couple of months or so. Um, get a bunch of interesting um, speakers and that kind of stuff like that. So expect to see that um, that email coming out from Eventbrite, and that's the last thing you'll, you'll hear from us. Um, those of you who engaged or, or heard about things, your colleague told it, told you about us. Um, you saw it on LinkedIn. You saw it on Twitter or something else like that. Um, I still recommend um, getting on the mailing list. It's always the best, the best way to hear about these things as well. So, uh, what is um, the OWASP EU tour? Um, well, what it is is this is a replicate of something which happened in Latin America. Um, and really, what it is, it's an effort to kind of get, uh, especially some of our uh, international kind of you know renowned speakers, the kind of people who are actually doing conference talks uh, around a lot of our, our local chapters, hold an event. Uh, which is free and open. Um, the only reason that we actually ask you to RSVP is so that we know how many people to cater for. Um, other than that, it will just literally be open door kind of stuff um, to, to just really get the message out there and um, hopefully um, kind of engage with some folks who haven't, haven't come across it OWASP before. Um, is there anybody in here actually not 100% sure what OWASP actually is? Okay, so Colin is lying, <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of you who are lying by not putting your hands up. Um, those of you who, who may not know too much about OWASP, um, we've got the OWASP Foundation. What OWASP is, is, is um, you may know, the Open Web Application Security Project. Um, what OWASP is, is effectively a like-minded group of folks um, who donate their time towards basically the problem of application security. Um, so. Uh, as uh, one of our uh, kind of very vocal members, Dennis, who you'll, you'll see present later in the day, um, his, his pitch for why you would you know, be involved with OWASP, why you would actually join um, and become a member of OWASP, is uh, it's, it's a very compelling kind of you know, pitch why you'd, why you'd spend your 50 bucks. It's like, what do you get for spending 50 bucks and becoming a member of OWASP? Nothing more than you do by not joining. Uh, everything is free and open, everything is um, open source, uh, creative commons. It is designed for you to be able to pick it up, uh, use it professionally, use it in your business, uh, adapt it however you like, 
um, all of those kinds of things. It's really you know to get materials out there which is going to make your life easier um, with regards to security. Be you a developer, be you a security professional, be you somebody who's more in a management role. Um, so that's that's not the official pitch, but that's kind of my my capture of of Wasp. Um, <coughs> This is, I think, the third of the events that we're having. We have a whole series of probably, uh, I think there's another 10 events happening across Europe over the next, um, the rest of June. <coughs> um, so if, if you do happen to be uh, you know, elsewhere in Europe and things like that, um, uh, do have a look. Um, we have the EU tour uh, page, uh, which is off uh, the awesome site. Um, go and have a look and see where the rest of the ones are. You might, might want to pick up some of those as well. Um, sponsors for today. Um, the overall uh, headline sponsor for uh, the EU Tour event was basically uh, making a lot of the, the, the travel and uh, some of the costs for uh, these kinds of events is 7Safe. So uh, you may have noticed uh, Richard from 7Safe is uh, just in the other room and he's got his, his leaflets and that kind of stuff. If you're interested in this, the kinds of things they do, um, stop by and have, have a chat to them. Uh, equally, our chapter sponsors are um, Gotham Jewel Science and Quotium, um, who um, help us kind of do things like get these 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 rooms and things like that uh, during the year. Uh, equally, um, those of you who are more on the educational kind of side of things, uh, we do actually have a lot of kind of educational sponsors who are effectively making a lot of the EU tour events uh, happen by providing us somewhere to have them. Um, so, for example, um, our Cambridge event, which was uh, I think the 13th of last month, uh, was held at the International Business School at Anglia Ruskin University in Cambridge. Um, so we have, have a lot of kind of uh, folks more on the academic side involved in OWASP as well. Um, if, if you are somebody who's in, in, on the academic side and want to find more about kind of how OWASP can help and um, the kinds of things that we can um, participate and, uh, and help you with, um, come and have a chat to me and I'll point you to the right people as well. Uh, equally, we have a lot of folks in the, in the wider community, other organizations, other security organizations, <coughs> other um, uh, non-profits just like OWASP, um, which, which are involved in this kind of thing as well, um, internationally, um, who are kind of involved with kind of getting the OWASP uh, message out there. Uh, inter uh, interestingly, the only one of those who's UK-based is 44Com. Um, you can see this, there's a bunch of folks there who are on the Ireland side as well, uh, and elsewhere as well. So, excellent stuff. So we have a, a fairly full program of um, stuff for you. Um, this is going to be totally unreadable. <laughs> uh, if anybody can read this, uh, I'll be surprised. However, um, for those of you who, who don't uh, have one already, I have printed um, copies of um, the schedule, um, which will, um, I, I'll, I'm actually just right down the, the top left here. Um, so if you want to grab a copy of the schedule off me, uh, just come down and grab one. Um, we already have one variation from the schedule. And the variation from the schedule is that um, Dennis, who's on at 10.45, has told me he's not going to be here before 10.45. Um, so we will be swapping one of the later talks in. I think Rory, um, Rory McCune, who is uh, scheduled for later in the day, 2 p.m., I think we may actually just swap, swap those talks. So um, this is a this is extremely common in OWASP events. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, hopefully um, everything will run fairly smoothly on the day. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand off I'm going to hand off to um, uh, Tobias, who's going to be our uh, first talker of the day, who's going to lead off um, with something which I hope is going to set the, the scene um, for um, you know, how, more of a higher level uh, around OWASP, how OWASP can help in your, your, your uh, professional kind of business life. Um, and uh, we'll get going. So Tobias. Yeah. Uh, equally, um, one last thing I should mention. Uh, we are actually going to be videotaping um, these talks and presuming we can figure out how this works, uh, we will be releasing these uh, probably on YouTube or something equally similar. Um, so uh, if you are the kind of folk, uh, folks who need to take notes and things like that, we will actually have afterwards uh, recordings and sessions as well. Um, we can't guarantee that the, the audio quality is going to be awesome, especially without the mics, which I'll figure out how to turn on. Um, but um, just, just to let you know that these will be available. Uh, so I'll leave you to it.